Hey Frank, why are you always talking about the liver? Well, your overall health is really how healthy your organs are and cells separately, but in order to have healthy cells, you need to have healthy organs. And your liver is by far the most important organ in your body. It is not even close. The liver is like the master organ. If your liver is healthy, you will be healthy because your metabolism will be better. You'll be able to tolerate so many negative stressors and free radicals in the lifestyle. So very, very important. And one of the most overlooked aspects of nutrition is the role of vitamin K in fat soluble vitamin balance. And a big part of liver health is the fat soluble vitamins in your body, how their ratios are and if you have the correct amounts. Vitamin A, D, and K. Sometimes people bring up the Weston A price stuff, but that's not really that popular. And even when fat soluble vitamin balance is brought up, the amount of vitamin K required is greatly underestimated. So the body needs an equilibrium of these fat soluble vitamins to be healthy. But most people have way too much vitamin A, not enough vitamin D, and barely any vitamin K. If you have too much of one, you might feel better and it's somewhat of an okay idea to bring the levels of the other vitamins to match it and then you can slowly bring down all of the vitamins to you know where they're supposed to be for your body because you know if you have a cup and you fill it up with liquor and you say oh no I need a vodka soda well <laughs> you know it's not as easy to pour nutrients out of your liver as it is to pour liquor out of a glass of water let's just leave it at that you can't necessarily fix it. So if you're really out of whack, if you're really imbalanced, you might have to fix your diet for a while before you can really balance things out. Now, if those vitamin imbalances and the diet and lifestyle has been out of whack for a long enough period of time, you'll start having problems with your liver. And vitamin K has been demonstrated in many studies to have a healing effect. Uh, one little side note, you know, there are different forms of fat soluble vitamins. You know, A has retinol, beta carotene, different type of stuff. Vitamin D has D3, which is from the sun. Vitamin K has K1, which is in plant foods, not really that available. K2 in different forms, MK4, MK5, MK7. And we'll get more into that later, but these studies cover a few different ones. All right, so let's see what I scribbled on the board at 3 a.m. last night. Ports of fat soluble vitamin ratios. Equilibrium of A, D, and K is needed for ideal health. And I've spoken dozens and dozens of times about how you need this for, you know, physical development, you know, basically straight out of the womb. You know, the reason you're not attractive is because your mother or father combined didn't have correct ratios of vitamins in their body. Levels should be balanced and reduced. As we said with the glass of water, like if one vitamin's way too high, like if you took toxic levels of vitamin D for a year, then it's going to be hard to get everything balanced. You kind of have to avoid the toxic nutrient for a while. Severe imbalances cause health problems, autoimmune issues, organ dysfunction. Yeah, the, the issues can get really, really crazy in extreme circumstances, but that doesn't usually happen to later in life. And what ends up happening, like physically, logistically, is the person can't figure out what's wrong with them. Doctors don't know how to diagnose these types of health issues, what the root cause is. And you end up getting to the point where the health issue is so severe, you're in the hospital, you end up, you know, who knows what happens. You get immunocompromised and, and the modern medical system will not end up taking care of you. Now, what's really interesting is vitamin K supplementation appears to be very safe. There is no reported toxicity, which cannot be said about the other fat soluble vitamins, vitamins A and D. You know, if you look up toxicity, vitamin A, toxicity, vitamin D, there's case studies and it has to be treated. Vitamin K there is no evidence that vitamin K supplementation in physiologic or even higher doses causes serum enzyme elevation, liver injury, or jaundice. So some of you might think you're able to get vitamin K from food or cheese, but the amount is not even close to anything considerable enough to give you healthy levels, let alone fix a deficiency. The reason our ancestors and people on primitive diets did not need supplements is because their overall gut microbiomes were healthier and they were consuming incredibly large amounts of probiotic foods and foods that were rich 
in vitamin K2. So, you know, you have maybe one of the above and it is not, not even comparable, guys. Not even comparable. Yeah, if you've been trying to fix your health by natural foods for months to years and you're still not fixing your issues, there's a lot more to it than that. So next study is vitamin K2 inhibits hepatocellular carcinoma cell proliferation. Vitamin K2, a fat-soluble vitamin, has the function of promoting coagulation and can inhibit the progression of liver cancer. Our results indicated that vitamin K2 directly inhibits the growth of hepatocellular carcinoma cells. Uh, so pretty simple yet eye-opening. Vitamin K actually stopped the cancer cell progression. So I'm guessing most of you have the point I'm trying to convey here. Liver health and your liver function is the most important thing in your overall health. When people are having liver problems, vitamin K is curing it. So pretty interesting. Liver health, super important. Vitamin K heals the liver. So vitamin K is important. So this next study, vitamin K1 substantially reduces risk of death of liver failure patients. Effect of vitamin K1 on survival of patients with chronic liver failure. Vitamin K1 may reduce the risk of death in patients with chronic liver failure. Based on these findings, vitamin K1 can be used in patients with chronic liver failure. So the way they word some of these studies is kind of silly, but if you look at the statistics in that study, it was really, really considerable. A very high percentage, I think it was over 25% uh, reduced mortality rate, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. And that was with vitamin K1. So I'm sure with vitamin K2, which is more available to the body, it would have been uh, possibly even more effective. So then we have a study showing vitamin K2 promoting liver regeneration. Vitamin K2 enhanced liver regeneration is associated with oval cell expansion and upregulation of matrillin 2 expression. The point is vitamin K2 has been shown to promote liver functional recovery in patients with cirrhosis vitamin K2 treatment induced a dose dependent increase of liver regeneration. And that's super interesting because it means that the more vitamin K2 the person took, the faster their liver healed. Now we ran out of space, but the next study I came across really convinced me to make this video that vitamin K activates enzymes in the liver that are necessary for detox. And there are also certain countries, I think it was Korea, that have doctors which will even prescribe vitamin K2 to patients with liver failure. Uh, another interesting thing in that study was that newborns can have cholestasis, just impacted liver function, right out of the womb. And that's the reason they actually give babies vitamin K shots. So you know, back to what we said in the beginning, you know, you're coming out of the womb as a baby and your fat soluble vitamin ratios are already messed up. Doctors know that, the medical system knows that, and that's why they're giving babies vitamin K1 shots. So, kind of scary, especially, you know, since vitamin K1 is like being used and they don't know about vitamin K2 and how much more available it is. And I've literally done a video titled, Why You Need Vitamin K2 MK4, if you guys want the explanation and the lowdown on the different types of vitamin K. And there's a lot of expensive blood work that you can get to test circulating vitamin K levels but the most common one they test is prothrombin time. And if that's elevated at all, it can be an indicator of a vitamin K deficiency. We have the most affordable, high quality vitamin K2 MK4 on organsupplements.com. Uh, if you guys wanna get that and try it and incorporate it into your diet, see how you feel. You know, one of the main things I hope I'm doing when I'm making these videos is that even people without severe health issues that are just kind of normal and able to function and sleep and are physically healthy, those people like their eyes open and they start balancing things out and trying to fix their diet and lifestyle because you absolutely do not want to get to the point that I got to with near liver failure and you know three years later I'm still not feeling as good as I should be and I'm still trying to fix issues. As I said guys, organsupplements.com, you can search Frank Defano Vitamin K for more information on that. Uh, hopefully this video isn't too long for TikTok, it might be. But thank you guys for joining. Uh, please drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And guys, please look. Hey, support me through all of my businesses. Uh, maybe I can afford some dry cleaning next week.